Elected officials are no strangers to political attacks, but Cape Coral Mayor Marnie Sawicki believes she's the victim of something that's far too personal. First on Fox, Foreign Your Corner investigator Warren Wright has more on why the mayor is taking legal action to shut down one of her constituents. Well, a Facebook page that not everyone can see has got the mayor angry, and she's hired a lawyer to issue a cease and desist notice to the woman who claims she is only speaking truth to power. Lisa Cohen is a political activist and community watchdog with her own radio internet show, PaulRevereRadio.com. But it's her Facebook comments that have landed her in hot water, getting the cease and desist notice from Mayor Marnie Sawicki's attorney, stating, quote, you do not have the right to make false, defamatory, slanderous, or libelous statements, end quote. Cohen said she was surprised by the letter. I will not have my First Amendment right squashed by some person who thinks that she's above the law, the law of the land, the true law of the land, the Constitution. She's out of her mind. In Cohen's Facebook statements, she characterizes Mayor Sawicki's moral behavior as questionable and considers some of her actions as mayor improper. In one of Cohen's statements about Common Core and students, she brings Sawicki's daughter into the discussion. Sawicki, who would only speak to me over the phone, explained, quote, I understand I face a higher scrutiny, but when you go after my daughter, it's a different story, end of quote. Cohen responds that those statements the attorney points to were taken out of context. You can't just take somebody's written information and just piece and cut and paste little pieces so it works to your advantage. That's egregious. I won't, I will not tolerate that. Outside legal counsel, attorney Mike Chinopoulos says taking this issue to a courtroom can be costly and difficult to prove for the person who feels they've been wronged. Because the thought is the person who puts themselves out in the public understands that they're going to be criticized. Now, Chopolis adds that even if Sawicki wins her case, proving damages is just as difficult. Oftentimes, the awards can be a limited amount, even as small as $1. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Warren. We want to hear from you on this topic. What do you think about the mayor taking this action against this critic? You can voice your view right now when you call us at 239-206-FOX4 or email us at news at fox4now.com.